Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering gradients. Gradients are position-dependent colors composed of two or more colors with smooth transitions in between. They can be used for fills or transitional overlays on layers or objects. We can apply gradients in Figma by first selecting our shape and then navigating to the Fill option within the Properties panel. Let's start by changing from a solid fill, which is the default fill setting in Figma, to linear, a type of gradient. Linear gradients are typically the most common types of gradient. A linear gradient is where all colors appear in a straight line and only blend with adjacent colors. In this example, we have a shape with a linear gradient applied. We can adjust each of the two colors by clicking on the selector at the top, known as a stop, and adjusting the color value below, including changing the transparency value of a color so that the gradient fades away smoothly. We can also choose to add more colors by clicking anywhere along the slider. You'll also see that we have gradient controls on the canvas. You can use these handles to change the length of your gradient or rotate the angle. If we click one of the handles, hold down our spacebar, and move our mouse, you can see that we can also reposition our gradient. If we want to delete a color, click on the stop and then hit delete on your keyboard. Radial gradients begin from the center and grow outward in a circle. You can choose where you want your gradient to begin, and by adjusting the stop, you can adjust the distance for where the gradient will end. There is another adjustment handle that we didn't show you earlier. This handle is for non-uniform scale. We can use this handle to adjust our gradient to make it thinner or wider. Angular gradients allow you to design gradients which progress in a clockwise direction. Diamond gradients are a lot like radial gradients. Both of these gradients originate in the center and move outwards, except diamond gradients are in the shape of a diamond rather than a circle. If we want to preserve the soft edge of our gradient so that it gradually falls off towards the edge, it's important to set the transparency of the rightmost stop to zero. If we don't, the color of the last stop will reach all the way to the edge of our shape. Let's review what we've learned today. There are four types of gradients linear, radial, angular, and diamond. A single color in a gradient is called a stop. Stops can be transparent, are created by clicking, and deleted with the delete key. You can stretch, shrink, and rotate a gradient using the handles on the canvas.